this early, but that's okay. I'm about to wash my face, do my skincare. I gotta take the baby to work with me today. I'm gonna start in the mornings usually with some micellar water. Especially because I still have mascara on for yesterday. I've been using the OC Ocean Cleanser. This stuff, I use it morning and night. I literally have been using nothing else for the past like week. It is so amazing. It smells fresh. I don't know, I've been using a lot of the OC products I'm gonna show you. But yeah, I start with this. Well, I start with the mess of water, then I use the cleanser. Always use a separate towel for your base. It makes a difference. Cause freaking mascara still I hate how it leaves like a dark look you can never get it fully off if you know anything that can get it fully off let me know the OC hyaluronic C serum it's definitely giving me like a glow and I love it so I only have two clients today but I have to take the baby with me um, I'm so tired, I did not want to get up, like, <laughs> did not want to get up. I'm going to keep my skincare short this morning. Use the Naturium Vitamin C. Always a Vitamin C in the morning. The Inky List Caffeine Eye Cream. I tried out a new swaddle with my baby last night. Because my mom was thinking that he kept waking himself up because he would move around and like his arms would start flailing and everything. So I actually found in my closet that I had the Love to Dream model. It's like a little baby straight jacket. It's kind of, I don't know, it feels a little evil, but it works. So when I first put it on him, mm -mm, he was not having it. Um, he was not having it at all. But after he kind of calmed down and I laid him in my bed, then I tried to put it on him, like after he was laying in my bed. And he went right to sleep and he's been sleeping. Like, he's still in my room asleep. I'm afraid to take him out of it. He's just so peaceful. I think I put a little too much sunscreen on. Blend that in a little bit. The glow screen though, super good. If you want to just like even out your skin tone every day, fire. Fire. So yeah, swaddle was great. Um, but we'll see how it lasts because that he was like that with some of the other ones I got him too. Like he was great with it for like a couple days and then he was like, no, not this. It's hair. It's hair. It's crazy. Spray bottle from Sleep by Hand. I'm gonna do my basic. I need to put my hair extensions back in. Oh gosh. I need to get more hair gel. It's just much. My hair is getting a lot longer, so like I can even start putting more of it up, which I like. But I mean, I've just been the hair loss, the postpartum hair loss has just been crazy. I don't know what to do. I'm like doing everything I can. I've seen a difference since I've started doing a little bit more for it, but. It's still just like, gosh. I don't know what to do. Mm -hmm. But, it is what it is. It's like so much more of a bun on the top now, it's so fun. 
but I do like a more like messy look now with my hair recently. I don't know why. I've been digging it. So yeah, I've been using this Anya scalp serum, and it does, it has made a difference, I will say. But I think I'm just in that time period right now where there's like nothing. No, there's like nothing that will help me. But I've just been trying to really put it on my hairline. That's also why I like the extensions because I'm not like tempted to put my hair up like this. I think that makes a difference too. But what can you do? I don't know. I just had a baby. I can't stress too much about it. I don't know if y'all knew, but I switched to using natural deodorant. My mom sent me like a bunch of videos about um, how bad like the spray deodorants and stuff are for you. So I got, I started using natural deodorant and it takes a while because your body has to like detox almost. Um, so I started doing that and then I got this, what am I halfway? This Bella Skin Beauty underarm toner. It's a watermelon probiotic underarm toner. And so the reason your underarm stink is because of the bacteria. And this just kind of, it's a toner. It just helps get rid of the bacteria. So you like spray it on like, all over. And then take a cotton pad and wipe it, and that like activates it. But I don't smell at all since I've been using like zero underarm odor, and it's been great. And I really feel like starting with the natural deodorant. So this isn't like a deodorant; it's just a toner. So you're supposed to put deodorant on over this, but I don't feel like I need it. Um, even like when I sweat and stuff, haven't needed it. But I definitely, I recommend personally to start with the um, natural deodorant and then start using the underarm toner so that your body can kind of detox out those like aluminums and stuff like that. All right, I've been using the OC Undar Undaria Algae Body Oil. If you want to really smell like fresh all day, you gotta use this body oil paired with the body butter. Because let me tell you, the oil just like makes the body butter just like stick to your skin so much better. Oh my gosh, I need to shake my legs. That is not a sight to see down there. I've been putting it on my belly too. Just for like the loose skin to stay hydrated body butter you have to use it with body oil though I feel like you could use any body butter with the oil but the natural scents of both of these just complement each other so well and I got a compliment yesterday that I just smell really fresh I didn't even have any perfume on I was just using my OC products and they said I smell fresh and clean it's all like sea products natural and that's what i've really like been into for my body especially just trying to smell good but make sure that i'm getting like below the surface really invested into my skincare recently i feel like it's like one of the most important things to me okay i'm gonna change it's supposed to be like in the 50s today I still have to use these nipple covers because I just leak like crazy. I don't like to use the little sticker part though because like when I pull my bra down to feed the baby, it never stays anyway. So I've tried different brands and it doesn't work. <laughs> I'm just wearing Lululemon long sleeve, one of my favorites. Very comfortable, breathable. Broad from Athleta, too, by the way. Love it. Yes, my favorite long sleeve from Lulu. And then just a pair of the Align high waisted leggings. I do want to try to get out of here so I can go get some Starbucks because I had a long day today. I've been avoiding my six week doctor's appointment. <laughs> But after this, I've been avoiding this appointment. Like, I'll be 11 weeks postpartum this week. I need to look this up. I'm still wearing pads, though. 
I still have pads right now, not because I'm bleeding, but just because, I don't know, I feel like my body's just still cleaning itself out, but yeah, I've been avoiding the six-week appointment because, like, I know that their job is to just, like, try to get you on birth control and stuff, but I'm abstinent, so none of that applies to me, and I'm fine. I haven't had any issues, so... I don't know, it's just not been something that I felt like I needed to go do, but I just stop rescheduling my appointment and just go. The day of my appointment will come and I'm like, I don't want to go, and I cancel it. I don't know if it's like, I don't know if I should wear just a zip up jacket or I have a hoodie right here. But zip up jackets are just so much more like easily accessible. I will wear my trusty on running shoes that I literally I've been wearing, see like I just uh, kind of bloated today and I'm not feeling having my stomach out. So maybe a hoodie. I have this hoodie right here. I think I might just throw on. This hoodie is like thick though. That's the only thing. Let me just go ahead and put it on. It's probably going to mess my hair up. But that's okay. I like to lay my clothes in the bathroom the night before, especially if I have an early morning. Because I don't want to wake my baby up. Oh, not even. Like, I'm just not feeling my stomach today. I have good and bad days with it. Like yesterday, it was a fire day with body image. Today, not feeling it as much, but I love this hoodie. I stole this from my ex. <laughs> it's from Box Bra. It's like the perfect oversize, but like not too much. I don't have time to do my eyebrows. I do. I'm gonna do my eyebrows. I like to do my eyebrows just a little bit just to make me look somewhat complete. Mm -hmm. And I have therapy tonight. So, we'll see how that goes. This is my like second session with him. I mean, things after the first session have been going well with my ex. Um, we we're both seeing the same therapist in hopes that we'll be able to like work together better. Um, and so far so good. I feel like it's been good to have like a third party come in and help us. I gotta leave in 15 minutes, I still gotta wake the baby up. So I don't really know if he's gonna eat before we leave. I do take a bottle when I take him to the gym, just so I don't have to like, whip my boob out. <laughs> 5 o'clock in the morning. Ain't nobody looking at my eyebrows at the gym. <laughs> it's just, I, I never feel like I can get my eyebrows even. My eyebrows are like two different shapes. Better than nothing. I'm going to bathe. It is 4.36. Gonna wake the baby. I gotta heat up some water to take in the thermos for his bottle. And then I pack everything up. I can't film because it's just too much going on and I'm trying to keep the baby asleep. So yeah, I'll talk to you guys soon. I placed my I usually like place my online order at Starbucks when I'm like 10 minutes out from the gym. And the Starbucks across from my gym has been out of my matcha drink. They've been out of matcha for like a week. And there's not really any other Starbucks that's like convenient. Especially I was running like five minutes late leaving the house just trying to get Mavi together because I had to change his diaper. He literally pooped like right as I was about to pick him up to leave. So I had to change his diaper so I was running just a couple minutes late. Um, I like to get there like at least 10 minutes before my client gets there just so I can set things up and be organized especially when I have Maverick so that I'm not like trying to rush in and then I'm like cutting into their session time um, but it says my ETA is 524 and I'm just gonna run into Starbucks and pick up my drink I ended up ordering a venti what is it toasted vanilla shaken espresso I don't know, but it has like four espresso shots in it, which your girl needs because I am like dragging right now. I'm so tired. Um, I feel like if I drink that this early, then I'll be good like all the way through my doctor's appointment and then I can take a nap because um, love. But 
Also, I wish you could see, like, I literally have my tripod on the floor of my car right now, and, like, my camera's, like, on the tripod. I'm surprised that it's not falling over, to be honest. But I really want to get one of those, like, suction things. They have, like, a suction thing that you can, like, put on the window and attach your camera to it. I feel like that would be so much easier for, like, when I'm driving. But I guess this works for now. Because it's not, it, it's not moving anywhere, and it's not in the way, so... I don't know um i just need to be hands-free i feel like with driving i've become like a grandma driver because especially when i have my baby i'm like that's what i'm in therapy for too because i just have a lot of anxieties about life and i get like these fears that come over me and these like irrational thoughts and i'm like i need to stop thinking that way like i end up stopping myself but like the fact that i keep getting these thoughts i'm like i need to stop um I'm like afraid of something happening to me or you know like so I just I've been extra cautious on the road extra extra cautious on the road and just trying to be as safe as I can um, for my baby and for myself and for other people on the road too because it's scary out here and you just never know but obviously you can't live your life in fear which is what I keep telling myself so my the venti drink i actually do like this drink but i've just been on a matcha kick lately i think i'm gonna buy a nespresso and so my matcha drink that i get i get it's a venti ice matcha latte with an espresso shot coconut milk two pumps of chai vanilla sweet cream cold foam and cinnamon i have become one of those people that has like a complicated drink order but it's so good. So I did buy some matcha packs. I wanna buy an espresso so I can start having like the espresso in there. And then coconut milk, I mean, that's not too bad. And then I saw some people on TikTok using like, it's just like a chai, it's like a pre-made chai latte um, thing. So I think I'll just start doing that on my own. Cause honestly, how much money I spend at Starbucks, I've probably bought two Nespresso's already within the past two months, so I need to just go ahead and get it. We got to pull up at Starbucks. It's 524. They were right. I know the Starbucks is probably sick of me. Their doors still be locked when I pull up usually because they open at 5. I don't know, but look, they have, like, their lights on the inside are still off. they like, what is this girl doing here? But nope, there go my drink right there. She ready to go. The people at this Starbucks are so nice. I will never forget one day during my pregnancy. I was so mean to them. Oh, I literally came back in the next day and apologized because they had closed their dining room, okay? They closed their dining room, but like I had already placed a mobile order. Like they had the doors locked. They were like, we're short staffed. The drive through line was wrapped. I was like, I'm gonna be late for work. I've already placed my mobile order. I see it right there. Like. But they would not, I was so pissed and I was pregnant and I just, I was really mean to them. Like, obviously I shouldn't have been that way because they can't control them being short staffed. Like you can't control that. So I felt so bad. I literally, I came back and apologized because I just, it didn't sit right with me how I acted towards them. They ended up letting me in the dining room to get my drink. <laughs> Cause I was, I feel like they felt bad because I was so pregnant <laughs> and it was like early in the morning. But yeah, that drive through line was wrapped. Cause like, it's so easy and convenient to just grab and go. But yeah, it was not, was not good. I got two clients, then I'm gonna go home and try to get a couple things done. Then I gotta drive back out this way for my doctor's appointment. Gosh, I'm really trying to hype myself up to go to this doctor's appointment because I don't wanna go. Like, now that I'm not pregnant anymore, I'm like, okay, I'm done, that's it. Um, so I'm trying to hype myself up for that. And then I'm gonna take a nap. So let me get started on this coffee and I'll talk to you guys later. 7.53, I'm done training my clients for the day. I only had two clients. I finished at 7.30, but Mavi woke up like the last like two minutes of my 6.30 client. So I fed him, um, cause I had a bottle made already so I wasn't gonna sit and feed him. I went to the locker room, changed him cause he pooped. And I'm about to put my hands free pumps in and pump on the way home because it takes me 25 minutes to get home. So I just pump, 
the whole way home or until these are full because these actually will usually end up filling up these are the it's like the t-s-r-e-t-e -E. i don't know how to say that but yeah s23 um not the s yeah are these s23 i don't know honestly y'all i have so many different hand pumps but i will say these ones have been able to get me the most um the flange size has a big roll in how much you actually get so um i use the 24 millimeter because like you measure at your nipple and then you're supposed to like add two or something i don't know but it said that i should be using a 24 for whatever um i think it was on like lactation hub or something that i used their measuring guide and 24 is usually standard like what comes with all the pumps but a lot of people aren't actually this size you okay Mabby? which can affect um, how much milk you're actually getting and you could be hurting your milk supply by not using the right size so they make inserts that you can like put into these that are actually correct for your anatomy um, I love these they're so great for like times like this when I'm just driving because I'm like rock solid right now it's been what time did I feed him I fed him at like 3 30 ish yeah, and it's eight o'clock now, so I'm super behind. Don't wanna sacrifice my milk supply at all. So I just like to keep these. It is like a lot of little pieces and parts, and it does kind of suck. Oh, 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 we're about to move. He likes when we move. He doesn't like when we're like sitting in the car. So, gonna pump. I really would like to stop at the store, but since I have to pump, I'm just not going to. Um, just because that would just make my life way too complicated right now. Oh, I got a text. Oh. <laughs> Look at God. Your, your appointment with my doctor. Oh my gosh, my doctor's appointment. It got canceled. Y'all know I've been avoided this doctor's appointment. <laughs> like, I literally had to mentally prepare. She must be going to, um, she must have to schedule something like a birth or something. But fine with me. Go right ahead, doctor do your thing because i am not upset about that now i don't have to go to the doctor oh my gosh yeah before pregnancy i was never a person to go to the doctor like i hated to go to the doctor i didn't want to do it but um yeah i'm i'm really happy that that just got canceled <laughs> oh they're calling me hello hello this is v p f oh they're w calling me, call me. Listen, thank you for canceling it. Can y'all see this? No, okay, good. Also, where your nipple is positioned in the actual pump matters too. You want it to be in the center. Um, and then you wanna make sure you're wearing like a good bra. Like I have that bra on from Athleta that I told you about earlier. This one's actually really good. You don't want something that's like too high up because you just don't want the positioning to change while you're pumping or like after you get them in you want everything to like stay good so yeah this bra actually this is my first time wearing this and trying these pumps and this is like perfect just wait just a second to make sure that they're in a good place because you'll start to see like the milk flow come in um oh yeah these are good yeah i like these ones too because they're not as loud as my other ones some of the other ones they can get loud and i'm like dang let everybody and a mama know that i'm pumping i guess just let them know Hey, my forehead probably look big in the screen right now. Okay, there we go. Oh yeah, it's shooting out. Yeah, I can't go that long without pumping. I'm low-key like, I'm a mild oversupplier. Hold on, baby. I get gas. Lo All right, we going, baby love. I'm gonna finish my juice from this morning. I had a, I had a juice as well. I downed that coffee to help me get through, but. Let me move so my baby can go. I'm gonna get gas and go home. I've got to take these pumps out. But it's awkward because this gas station's like packed, but these pumps are full. Like, when I say full, I ain't never got this much before. Look at that. That's full. That's some good milk right there. Why are they dirty? Yeah, that's crazy. I can't believe I got that much. I don't even like, I need like a carrying bag to set these on for like after I pump. 
because I'm afraid that they're gonna like spill. But I wanted to try to go get some breakfast, but I couldn't before. Yeah, this one, not as much, but still a lot. That's crazy. Well, hopefully I could just like prop them right there and I think they'll stay put if I prop them right there. Yeah, that's good. I feel so much better. They're still, honestly, they're still kind of full. They were still going, but I had to stop them because I didn't want them to like spill out. <laughs> Oh. This is gonna look at my look on my face. I'm over it. <laughs> Welcome to Caitlin's Parenting 101. Today, <laughs> <laughs> today Dawson is here, and he is now gonna be giving Maverick a bath on Wednesdays. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so I got to say. First step. We have the bathroom right here. We're going to plug the heater in to heat the bathroom up before we take Maverick to get him nakey. <laughs> nakey? How corny is this gonna be on uh on YouTube? Hey, gotta get my baby nakey. Okay, into the bathroom we go. Come on, Dawson, I have to show you. Alright, so the heater will always be right here. Nakey. Don't judge. Pretty boy. Listen, class, we're not working ahead right now, okay? We're not working ahead. Oh, Lord Jesus. Follow the process. All right. Step one. <laughs> Look at it. Simba just sitting there looking at this. We plug thing. the heater in. Plug. All the way to three? All the way to three. But then we don't stop there. We put the heater on the floor because heat rises. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Heater is on the floor. Okay. Navi love. <laughs> Navi, it's bath time school. Okay. I need to like wash this, wash this. I need to wash all of these things. Alright, let's go to the room. We lay the chicken nugget on his bed. No. The change you've had right here because we're going to check. <laughs> Best boot right there. We're going to check. I'm laying the chicken nugget. Crispy chicken nugget. Mm. We're checking for any poopy butts. Why are you crying? You're taking too much. You're taking too long. Okay. We got smooth. Okay, and I always lay out his PJs and a diaper so that it's ready to go. This is his towel and washcloth they'll usually be in the bathroom but I have to do laundry today so I'll be taking them in there we're gonna get the chicken nugget nakey hey we'll get him nakey no breading <laughs> so sick. are my butts all in Kim all right check his butt for poopy but be careful because you don't want to get peed on. No, you're going to have to take his diaper off anyways. I carry him to the bathroom naked. Alright, quickly grab the unbreaded nugget and bring him to the warm bathroom. <laughs> chicken nugget butts. Chicken nugget butts. <laughs> Mavie's like, I'm on camera. Okay. And what I like to do... Then I'm gonna take my shoes off. So we're gonna get the wa this washcloth. So I always use two washcloths. The first one is to cover him. To so cover him. Need this too, so I can have it to show my mom. Yeah. all the water out and then look. Just lay it over him so that he can be a little covered. And then make sure to close this. I keep it open at first just in case you sneeze. And then I'm gonna have you feel the water that I'm gonna use. Not yet. All right, that's good. Feel it. It's okay. What are you doing? This first, and I just clean his face with no soap on it. That's what keeps the skin all nice and clear. Okay.
we'll get all that going. Anyway. But just like the main part in this case, like just keep some stuff. And then before I turn the water off, I fill this up just to have it ready to go. Back just a little bit, just in case you need to run water again. Now I scrub his hair with my hands. So just get some soap on your hands and like hold his head up a little bit. Yeah, just like rub it. Yeah, like hold his head up and then scrub. Yeah, just really like, don't be afraid to like, yeah. After you get his hair real good, go right. ahead and rinse with this, but just be careful and make sure to just kind of like hold your hand like this just so yeah. it doesn't get any soap in this. We'll rinse his hair like a little bit more later, but just for now. Yeah. It's okay if it gets like a little bit on his face, but just, we just want to avoid the eyes. Just water and like dip, and then I'll get a little bit. On here, you want to get really like you gotta like lift his chin up and like scrub under here like that. Make it make sense. I'm making it. Yep, and kind of you can like dip into the water to get like a little more sudsy. But under the neck, definitely one of the most important areas, other than the tushy tush. Let's get up so you can lean his head back. No, you lean his head back. So let him lay back and tilt his chin up. He'll do it, yeah. Thank you. Good job, Mavi. All right, and then dip it back into the water. Get a little bit more soap. Move it around a little bit, and now I'll just go to town on his body, armpits, hands. I like to occasionally like dip it back into the water just to make sure it's getting like, yeah. Slightly and do like each side of his back. That wash rag is for like his body because you don't want to like go there and then go to his hands. Okay, you see right. what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. I just keep that one on him to keep him warm and also to keep him covered just in case he does. And then, so after you like finish up with his body, I'll go ahead and start to drain this so that like just with a little thing here. Oh, there it goes. Yes, that was her nails breaking. <laughs> I'm down to two on this hand. <laughs> As the water's draining, you can go ahead and just like put that wash rag to the side. A his towel down. I've had the towel in front of the warmer the whole time, so it's nice and warm. Something's happening with the thing. Quick before he uses the bathroom. To the vibes. Here you just have to move really quickly just to get the diaper on. After you get the diaper on, it's all done. So get the diaper on now. Put aquaphor. All the things you see how he's like a little red. Na, look at my boy. Hi. He's not kicking. He's going by through this little kicker. You're doing great. How are we feeling? Love it. He's a little crazy though when you try to put his clothes on at the end. He lost all his cool. That's okay. We'll, we'll get the hang of it. That was a great first day. Good job. I give it a C plus. <laughs> Say good morning, Mavi. Yeah, good morning. So we just got up probably like 10 minutes ago. It's Friday! I'm still trying to get back into the groove of filming, so I've just been tired. I've been busy. It's been a lot. 
Wow, big boy. Spit it out, spit it out, spit it out. It's okay, spit it out. But we have literally been sleeping so much. Like I put Maverick to bed last night at like 9.30. Um, and we're just now getting up. It is after 8 o'clock. And he doesn't wake up. Like, he will, like, start fussing a little bit because he's hungry. So I'll literally just lay like this and feed him, sideline. And then he goes right back. He falls right back asleep. It's amazing. But the thing that has saved me and him is this Love to Dream Swaddle, swaddle Up Transition Bag. I didn't even know I had this. Somebody like had passed this down to me. I saw it hanging up in the closet. People on TikTok were telling me to use it. So I just looked in my closet. I was like, let me see if I have something similar. And sure enough, I had it. So we've been using it. I say we love it. I love it. I love you. I'm obsessed with him. Oh, these weather changes and stuff have been kicking my butt. It's Cinco de Mayo, Mavi. What are we going to get into? What are we going to get into? We're going to go get a margarita and a taco. <laughs> Hi, Simba. Good morning, 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 baby. It's really hard with a dog who acts like a toddler and a newborn baby. Hey, are you my toddler doggy? No bite. No bite. No bite. Thank you. you can say good morning. No lick. No lick. I know you want to give him kisses, but you can't. You can smell, but no lick. No lick. No lick, Simmy. No lick. No. Your blanket. Okay. I have a blanket at the end of my bed. As Simba knows, that's Simba's blanket. Um. Oh. Are you spitting up again? Big boy. Spit up. So, as you see, co-parenting is going well right now. We... We started therapy. Um, if you saw my last video, I talked about say hi. I found a Christian counselor that I've been seeing, and Maverick's dad is also seeing him as well. And we're doing separate sessions in hopes to be able to come together and co parent. Um, for Mavi's sake. Mwah! Ow. Yes, you're my happy. We love it. Mammy loves when we're happy. Yeah. It took a lot of like putting my pride to the side and him as well. Um, but we're working through it and it's been really good for us so far. It's only been a couple sessions, but yeah but it's been really really beneficial so far and we're actually like able to hang out and go do stuff with Maddie like we went to the farmers market and um, the experience and like his visitation time has just been so much better and we've actually added like an extra day onto his visitation so he made time in his schedule which I was really appreciative of like I thought that that meant a lot you know, just for him as a dad, being able to come around more and to help. So that's what you saw. Like, he came on a Wednesday night and we took Maddie on a walk. And he, I uh, showed him how to give him a bath and just teaching him, like, our routine. Yeah. So it's been really good so far. So I'm just praying for consistency and that it will last um but again like therapy has been so helpful for me yeah are you talking to the camera too tell them how you feel tell them what we're doing today tell them what we're doing today what? 
So, um, yeah, praying for consistency. Therapy's been really helpful just for me personally because I feel like over the past year that I have like been single, you know, and like how difficult my pregnancy was, um, emotionally, how difficult it was. I feel like I grew so much, but I still needed that extra like outside opinion to help me like to help take me to the next level because there's only so much that you can do on your own um and you have blind spots and that's why I feel like I'm in therapy to fix my blind spots just so I can be the best I can be I've grown a lot um and I'm really thankful and I'm really proud of myself for all the growth and I attribute it all to how much I was reading my bible during my pregnancy I have not been as consistent yeah with reading my bible since having Mavi um, which I really want to get back to because I know I have time for it. Like, I have time. I have time during the day when he's taking a nap. <coughs> I have time when I first put him down to bed. Like, I cannot make excuses for why I haven't been reading my Bible as much anymore. Um, eh. So, I'm really going to get back on doing my Bible study. I'm going to start recording it so I can stay accountable too. Uh, I'll be his baby in the morning. He's my happiest. He loves. Oh, but I will keep you guys updated on the co-parenting situation. Um, but my biggest recommendation right now, if you if you have somebody you can't communicate with, can't work with, um, and can't be around, talk about therapy. See if the other party's open to therapy. If they're not, I still recommend it for you, um, just to be able to handle the situation for yourself. And to know that, like, because I had a lot of hate in my heart. I really did. Like, I had so much hate in my heart. I, and it was, I, I was unable to forgive for a lot of the treatment that I got during my pregnancy and just how all things went. Like, I just had so much resentment, so much anger, even though, like, I wasn't really necessarily, like, speaking it and showing it like that, but, like, it was deep down like I know that I felt that way and I just that's something I have to work on within myself like that's nothing that the other party can control um, that's what therapy's helping me with and so I do that's recommend it. that even if the other party isn't open to it I definitely think okay. that you should just um, to heal within yourself and be able to have that clarity of doing what is best for the child we do what's best for my babe because I love that happy face. I love that happy face. Okay. He's like, Mom, not in front of the camera. I'm sorry. I love you. So today, what am I going to do today, Mabby? I think I'll get up, make some coffee, make some farm fresh eggies for breakfast, and some turkey bacon, and like that's not their breakfast I did my makeup yesterday and I felt so cute so maybe I'll put some makeup on again today maybe like a cute outfit and it's supposed to be really nice actually so I would like to go do something for Cinco de Mayo but I know everywhere's gonna be so packed and I have social anxiety mm. what? tell me yeah yeah we up Mabby we it's cold down here so it's a little after nine we finally got out of the bed i gotta put the baby wrap on so i can get some stuff done Check out the definition in my stomach though, being 11 weeks postpartum. I have a core program that is now out. I've added the website oh, to the caption. Hey, hey. are you excited? Just, yeah, this baby wrap is a lifesaver. I got this off of Amazon, it's the boba wrap. But I love it. I have like a detailed video of how I put it on my TikTok. Going in the wrap. He usually like falls asleep when he's in here, so. One leg in. Where's the other leg? The other leg in.
probably should have done it a little bit tighter, but that's okay. Hey, look at that, Daddy Love. Here's what I got from Gail. Yeah. There you come. Yeah. Are you nosy? Are you nosy? I mix Purina Pro Wet and Dry Food. They like the turkey and sweet potato one. So I bought stuff to make an iced coffee so I would stop giving Starbucks so much. And so far it's working. Um, it's actually really good. I really want to get some of those like cute aesthetic glass for the iced coffee. I'm okay. Not the robe. Uh, maybe recording. Huh? I'm going to try the milk. What? The oh, the coconut milk. My brother made coconut milk yesterday. Okay, so we add our ice. I got the medium unsweetened. <coughs> medium unsweetened. Let's see it. That's water. Yeah, because I... Like, he made coconut water. I was only supposed to use the coconut water by accident for more. That's okay. Why are you so tired? I haven't even How today? Are you ready for it? Uh, I can't even get this open. That's how I don't know. Weakling. How do you know? Because I taste it. Oh. Well, why don't you go get another coconut and just kind of balance it out? Well, I was just going to redo it. Sweet and creamy, dairy free almond creamer. This only has 4 grams of added sugar. You don't need to watch. And, man, why are you chew on that? <coughs> Sugar free turkey vanilla syrup. And then, what happened to that? Um, Organic coconut milk to pop it off. I made iced coffee. Starbucks food. Mm. Ooh, that's good. You like that cookies and cream? Our favorite protein ever. He is down for his nap right now, but I just got my email that the new um, New Balance and Bodega 9060s are releasing in one minute. So I'm in the queue right now. So. Oh, 57 seconds. Oh my gosh. I hope I get these. These are fire. I'll put them on the screen. Whew. These are so fire. Like, I know they're going to resell for crazy too. The 9060s are so fire. Like, I was talked into getting a pink pair and I'm so glad I was talked into it by the New Balance employee because we have a store um, about like 30 minutes from where I live. Oh my gosh, 30 seconds. I've never been like in a shoe queue like this before. Do I need to get these? No. But do I deserve them? Absolutely. <laughs> it says, when the event begins, you'll be assigned a random place in line along everyone else who arrived. I need a seven and a half. I wear a men's seven and a half. I don't even know what to do. Like, do I? Oh my gosh. Okay, let's go. You're in line. When it's your turn, please finalize your purchase as quickly as possible. Okay, I'm in line. It doesn't tell me. Your placement in line does not guarantee product availability. Great. I clicked the email. I was like one minute after they sent me the email. I wonder if I was too late. Come on. Oh, you just... 
my estimated wait time is more than an hour. There's 8,689 people ahead of me. I'm not about to get these because I need a seven and a half and I feel like that's a really popular size. More than an hour? I'm not about to get these shoes. <laughs> Okay, in just a couple minutes, the wait time went from over an hour to 25 minutes, so like, I'm afraid to go do anything, because like, the time keeps going down, I'm, sh I'm sure like, people, size is probably sold out, that's what I'm like, assuming is happening, but it still says there's 7,400 people ahead of me. My mom is changing it. ultimate smell good all day routine after the shower I use this dry body brush to just like exfoliate extra get dry skin off I don't do that every day I do that probably twice a week um, and then I use the OC this is all from OC um, the Undar Undaria I don't know how to say that right the algae body oil this stuff and it smells so like I get so many compliments just about how like fresh and clean I smell and I love that. This, gotta use the oil first while your skin is still a little bit damp and then I use their algae body butter, a generous amount, but they give you a lot. And I just like, my skin, it glows, I smell good literally all day. And then for underarms, so I switched a while ago to natural deodorant and I feel like that really helped before using this product. This is the Bella Skin Beauty Watermelon Probiotic Under Armour Under Armour <laughs> Under Arm Toner. And you just spray it on, take a cotton pad, and wipe it to activate it. This helps um, get rid of the bacteria, which it, the bacteria is what causes the sweat to stink underneath your arms. So I started with the natural deodorant for a couple months and kind of just cleansed my body of all the toxins from like regular deodorants that everybody uses and it sucks because you don't really smell that good but trust the process it's worth it you gotta like detox all the crap from your body and then I've started using this and then I'll put my natural deodorant over top of it and I literally don't smell at all so like if you want to smell good all day that's what you gotta do Mavi is in his bouncer right here yay um, and I'm gonna get ready Get ready because I have a meeting for something new for my fitness business. So yay, exciting. I'm gonna do like my full makeup only because it's such a pretty day outside and I feel like yesterday I was very productive because I had makeup on. I don't know why. And I feel like in the past I've like not done makeup how I want to because of the man I was seeing or like if I was interested in somebody and they're like oh I don't like girls who wear too much makeup like I would let that stop me and like it's 2023 why would I let a man stop me from wearing makeup how I want to <laughs> but I literally think my makeup was so good yesterday because of this elf power grip primer I know y'all have probably seen this like I know y'all have probably seen this like all over TikTok and stuff, but it is worth the hype. It really is. It's very like sticky, it feels like. Like I don't use that much. Um, but you have to like do it and then let it dry. 
but yeah this primer went crazy with my makeup yesterday hey also filming for tiktok right now um so if you see me look away or get silent for a second that's why i'm gonna show you all the process of what it's like to film a day in the life video with me Got me almost falling over. So yeah, what time is it? 10.50. My meeting is at 11.15. So I have like just enough time to do my makeup. I'm not gonna have time to straighten my hair, but that's okay. I would rather my makeup be done and just leave my hair curly and then I can just straighten it later. All of the makeup that I use is from like TikTok trends, like stuff that I've seen on TikTok. So it's all worth the hype, okay? It really is. The NARS Light Reflecting Foundation. I don't know what shade. Oh, I got the shade M3 Stromboli, and I feel like this is like a perfect shade match for me. Put a bunch on my hand. Not a bunch, but I should have got my brushes out. To the brush. the process y'all I love the coverage of this it's fire I don't put a lot on my forehead just because I feel like it makes me look super cakey and my forehead is like pretty clear nothing near the eyes okay I look a little orange right now but I promise after it settles it's fire he keeps spitting his passy out <laughs> well, one of my beauty blenders spray it with some setting spray and just pat into the skin Patrick Ta brush this brush is amazing Patrick Ta, she sculpted. This is fire. <laughs> to carve. Nice and contoured. I only, <laughs> I only strapped in like one side of the um, bouncer. And then on the forehead. I don't like to do my nose like too much. Mabby, I really, I do hear you. I do hear you. I hear your concerns. I hear it all. Sorry. It's okay, Mavi. Kosas concealer for the under eye. I'm using my concealer for. I usually do my blush and then I'll then I'll do my concealer. But since I'm using a cream blush today, I want to do all like I want to do my liquid. dry for a second just to diffuse those lines this is what really gives you like a good airbrush look get a beauty blender Real tears are coming out. Real tears. Real tears. Shh, 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 shh. 
All right. We could do this with one hand. We definitely can. Okay. Next, we're going to do the cream blush. I actually don't have a brush for this. Maybe I'll use this brush. I'm going to start using it. So this is the Patrick Ta She's a Doll. Oh, look how pretty this is. So I actually, I used the Rare Beauty blush yesterday when I did my makeup. The prettiest, the prettiest pink ever. Just a little bit on the nose. Alright, and I am, I do have a beauty blender that I use for my blushes. concealer just to brighten it from what the blush takes away a little and then I just kind of take that over the blush contour I'm sweating same Patrick Ta. Abby. because I can't do it right now. sorry my camera is going to be kind of tilted up um i'm feeding my baby right now he's like screaming crying very unhappy so <laughs> okay he's fine now it was just it was a little much i'm like sweating right now <laughs> trying to just get <laughs> yeah <laughs> he's 11 weeks today this meeting was life-changing for my business, Kate Brooke Fit. I'm really excited to take everything to the next level and to really put the work in. I'm praying to God that this is the right path that I'm going to be taking. Um, but this meeting just went really, really well. And I'm so excited within the next coming weeks, most likely the next like eight weeks, to share this new project with you guys and to share the future of Kate Brooke Fit. T-shirt. Did you see this? That is a T-shirt. And that is pants. T-shirt, pants, T-shirt, pants, put your back, put your back, oh, you learned something, Mavi, coat, and socks, and coat, and cut, all right, 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 I just muted the microphone, we got a little co-parenting, this is our life guy, FaceTime call going on, I wanted to show him I was doing Maverick splash cards. And he's over with his family, so I wanted to show them the baby. What a crazy week. I bet you weren't expecting to see the things that you saw. I wasn't expecting it either. Um, but I'm kind of whispering and hiding out in the bathroom right now because Mavi is asleep. Um, side note, we feel in this like half up half down straight hair movement my camera's dead right now so i'm filming on my phone but i've been rocking this straight hair but this is the only way i can wear it i can only wear it like pulled up halfway like this because if i wear it all the way down it looks just it looks like ridiculous but yeah guys it was a very great unexpected week busy things are hard um but very rewarding i love 
every second of motherhood and I cannot believe Mother's Day. Like I get to experience my first Mother's Day in a week and I'm so excited. Um, so I'm about to unpack some things I got from Target, just like restock stuff like cotton rounds. I got like a really cute tank top though. Let me show you. I'm obsessed with these tank tops. They're like high neck because like I'm definitely more into coverage right now. But I have like four of these in different colors. Um, yeah. And I have to use these with that underarm toner and also my micellar water. So I just got like a three pack. Um, but I got like a couple other things I'm going to unpack. And I'm going to take a shower and go to sleep. Mavi is knocked right now. Um, but I love you guys. Thank you for being here with me this week. I'm so happy to be back vlogging. I love sharing my life with you. Um, and I'm so excited to just continue to share moving forward and so y'all can see me navigate motherhood as Mavi gets older and navigate co-parenting and therapy and just so much goodness. I'm staying really positive and um, I'm just really thankful that God pulled me out of a really difficult season. Um, just because I'm able to stay more positive now does not mean that things are not hard. They're really hard a lot of the times, but your attitude towards things makes a big difference in how your life goes. And I think that's why my skin is clear right now because <laughs> I'm not letting things bother me like they did before. And my outlook on life is very different. I'm very thankful to Maverick for coming into my life and blessing me with that and allowing me to grow. Um, but yeah, I hope that my life can just kind of show you guys that things get better. Thank you for being here. Connect with me on my socials throughout the week. I will tag my Instagram and my TikTok. Um, but yeah, we'll talk soon.